Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be doing yet another five best and five worst. And if you're new to my channel and you've never seen this series before, basically what it's all about is I talk about my five favorite as well as of course my five least favorite products from a particular category. So today we're gonna to be talking all about tinted moisturizers, BB creams, Caesar creams, basically just really light coverage foundation. And I really hope that you guys enjoy it and find it helpful. Definitely let me know in the comments some of your favorite and least favorite. Without further ado, we got lots of products to talk about. So let's get into it. So as for usual, we're gonna to start off on a positive note if you've been around on my channel for a while honestly even if you've been subscribed for a week you probably already know my obsession with the it cosmetics CC cream so obviously this is gonna be on the best list this is what I'm wearing on my face right now and this is by far my all-time favorite foundation so there are a few reasons why this foundation holds such a special place in my heart the coverage especially for a CC cream is really unexpected you would think that something like this would have a very light even sheer finish whereas this has much closer to a medium or even like a medium full coverage. So this stuff just covers up exceptionally well. All of my redness is completely gone with one really, really thin layer of this. I also really like that this stuff has an SPF of 50. Now that's not to say that you don't need to apply another physical sunscreen underneath this, but it's always nice when a foundation does have some sort of SPF in the foundation. It has a really nice dewy finish, but I don't find that it's overly dewy, that it makes me look oily. And I almost find that this foundation makes my skin look almost poreless. I don't know how this foundation does it, but honestly, whenever I'm having a bad skin day or I feel like my skin is looking a little bit too dry or dull, then this is always the one that I go to and it always just sort of like livens up my face. So here's when I stop raving about this product. You guys get the point. So now moving on from a product that I cannot stop talking about on my channel to something that I don't think I've ever even mentioned on my channel. This is the Kiehl's Skin Tone Correcting and Beautifying BB cream and this has an SPF of 50 so this is the foundation that I've been wearing recently on like my no makeup makeup days so when I just want to even up my skin tone a little bit and also apply a little bit of SPF at the same time then I will always go towards this product it is really nice and it actually has a surprising amount of coverage once again especially for a BB cream so this is my favorite like apply and go type of product where something like the it cosmetics CC cream I like to wear when I'm wearing a little bit more makeup like I will literally just like squeeze this on my hands and just rub it into my skin like a moisturizer. And then as far as the finish goes, I think it's fairly similar to the It Cosmetics CC Cream. It has a bit of a dew to it and it also looks really natural on the skin. I would say that I feel like this is probably too dewy for those of you who have more of an oily or combo skin type. This is very, very very glowy. It's fine for me because I do have quite dry skin and I think this would also be fine for somebody who is more of a normal skin type as well, just as long as you like a dewy finish foundation, but that is something that I definitely wanted to mention. Another con to this product, unfortunately, is that the shade range is horrid. Like there are four shades in this little collection and it really does not match a very wide variety of skin tones. So that's sort of shitty. It's really not ideal. And if you are wondering, I use the shade light and it matches me perfectly. So now moving on to a cushion foundation. Now I absolutely love cushion foundations. I use a ton from a bunch of different brands, but I always go back to my L'Oreal True Match Lumi cushion foundation. This is definitely one of my favorites. I love this product because it gives me more of a medium coverage, but it doesn't feel heavy on my skin whatsoever. What I really love about this particular cushion foundation is how buildable it is. I can get anywhere from a light to almost a full coverage with this stuff. So I do really like that I'm able to sort of customize that depending on like what I'm doing that day and how I'm feeling. And even though this says that it's like the Lumi formula, I don't find that this is overly dewy whatsoever. I do think that if you have more of like an oilier skin type, you can definitely still wear this. Maybe I would powder just a little bit wherever you get the most oily, but I find it just gives my skin a really natural looking finish. It's not like it's too matte or too dewy it sort of just sits like right in the middle i also love the packaging of cushion foundations this is really easy to just like throw in your bag and to touch up on the go which i think is great especially in the summertime when um touching up your foundation is a normal thing because you're like sweating it off this is really great to just sort of chuck in your bag because it ain't gonna explode or go everywhere since it's in this nice little handy dandy little compact so that is the l'oreal Lumi cushion. So now moving on to the Makeup Forever Water Blend. Now I would definitely recommend this if you plan on going to the beach, to the pool, anywhere where you feel like you want more of a waterproof foundation, this is definitely going to be your guide. So this will be really great for those days where either you're going to be sweating a lot because the water blend is fairly waterproof and it's also transfer proof. Now the coverage for this foundation is very light but it is also very buildable. You could build it up to about a medium. I would definitely not say that it is uh, buildable to a full coverage but you 
you can definitely get it to at least a medium. Now this used to be called a face and body and it was reformulated into the water blend, but it is a very similar formula and a little fun fact, I used to have the face and body as well as the Makeup Forever HD foundation in my freelance makeup kit when I used to do makeup on clients and almost basically every single time I would do makeup, I would always use the face and body foundation and everybody always love the way that their skin looked because it would cover up the redness but it would still let a lot of their natural skin show through so it would never look cakey or heavy and if somebody had maybe like a blemish I would always just go in with a little bit of a concealer to just cover that up specifically but on the rest of the face I would use the water blend slash face and body and everybody always loved it and this also works beautifully on mature skin when you shake it up you could actually hear that it's quite watery and because it is so lightweight it just sits so perfectly on the skin and it does not settle into any fine lines or wrinkles so this stuff is really awesome and I would definitely recommend it so moving on to the last product in my best category and this one really does hold a very special place in my heart I'm very nostalgic when it comes to this product it is my Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer this is probably one of the first foundations that I ever got my mom bought this for me years and years and years ago and it was basically the only thing that would ever touch my face in like my teen years which I know is very bougie but it's because my mom bought it for me and I've gone through countless tubes of it and I still stand by it this is I think probably just a really great all-around tinted moisturizer I do believe that this would work really great for all skin types because it does have more of a natural finish it's definitely not too dewy and it's not matte at all of course because most tinted moisturizers I believe aren't really matte I also think that the coverage is really great it is buildable so you are able to get about a medium coverage with this stuff but it will never look heavy or cakey on the skin which is why it is so great and I also just love how lightweight this feels I feel like lightweight is like the key word for this whole video but it really is because when you put it on it almost feels like you're wearing just a moisturizer and really nothing more so it's really ideal when you don't want a lot of heavy makeup on your face and I also find that this lasts really well throughout the day even in really strong heat it doesn't like melt off my face so that is a definite plus and just overall I think it's a wonderful tinted moisturizer so now that we have finished talking about all of my favorite tinted moisturizers it is finally time to dive into some of my least favorite tinted moisturizers so starting off with the Estee Edit skin glowing balm I've definitely spoken about this product before by the way as one of my least favorite foundations but I want to reiterate again since this does fit very nicely in the tinted moisturizer category it's has no coverage. <laughs> it's as simple as that. This is like the weirdest product because you will put this on your face and blend it in and it's like nothing even happened. This product also has an extremely strong floral scent to it and because it's sitting on your face, you are going to be smelling that baby the whole entire day and it does not dissipate. Those two things paired together really just makes this definitely one of my least favorite foundations. So next I've got the Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint. Now this is actually fairly similar to the Estee Edit Skin Glowing Balm and that it also gave me absolutely no coverage like you will just put this on your face and just like the skin glowing balm it will just completely disappear and it's like nothing really even happened it gives like the sheerest amount of coverage that I feel like it's not even noticeable and honestly if I'm taking time to put tinted moisturizer or foundation on my face I want it to do something because you know that's why I'm putting it on my face in the first place I'm not putting it on my face as like a skin treatment I just feel like there are so many other tinted moisturizers on the market that you know give a nice amount of coverage and that just work a lot better than this one so that is why I would skip on the Glossier perfecting skin tint next we've got the Becca aqua luminous perfecting foundation now when I first got this I really had such high hopes for this product because it honestly sounded like my perfect foundation it was supposed to give a nice amount of coverage while still being very lightweight and also have a nice dewy finish if you put that like in a little package that my friends would be my perfect lightweight foundation so the formula itself is actually quite thin and watery when you shake it back and forth you can sort of hear like the foundation swishing and swooshing around and it comes in this little dropper and instead of this being super light on the face it instead made my skin look really heavy and also made it look cakey and dry it sort of just did everything that I don't want a foundation to do unfortunately so it really just didn't work for my particular skin type so now moving on to the Tarte Amazonian Clay BB Tinted Moisturizer now this is actually another one of the foundations that I used to wear all the time in high school. However, I feel like my 
Thoughts have definitely changed since I've become a bit more of an experienced foundation wearer. I've realized that I actually don't really like this product very much. What I don't love about this product is that it does have the um, coverage of a tint moisturizer BB cream, but it doesn't feel like a tint moisturizer BB cream. I feel like this is fairly heavy and cakey, um, and I don't feel like it just sits very nicely on the skin. Because if I'm gonna be going for a tint moisturizer, then I want it to look natural on my skin while still giving me a bit of coverage. I don't want it to look heavy or cakey. If I wanted something that, you know, gave me more coverage, then I would just go for like a normal medium or full coverage foundation. So for me, this just really didn't work out. This kills me just a little bit, but I actually don't have a fifth least favorite tint moisturizer. I just don't have one in my collection that I'm not a fan of and that I want to talk about with you guys and I'm not just going to put something in there just for the sake of it. So I hope you guys don't mind that we're going to be one short today. But either way, I really hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. Do not forget to let me know in the comments some of your favorite and least favorite tint moisturizers because I would love to know. Give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!